Okay, I'm trying not to say it. I'm really trying not to say it. But again, we are here. Happy hump day, folks. Happy Wednesday to you. You're listening to Soapbox Daily, episode 141. And I'm your host, Matt Morgan. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Oh, I tell you, the weeks just go on rolling by. You, you do everything you need to. You check off the list. It's like the routine. The routine just keeps going. Like, it, it just constantly does. It's, <laughs> you know, before you know it, hey, we are here again on another Wednesday. So for this happy hump day this hump day i don't know if it's going to be happy i'm hoping it is happy for you we're going to discuss this and i was kind of thinking about this as i sit back for one second and marvel around everything around me in my life and why do we take technology for granted i mean that is what we're talking about today why do we take technology for granted it's it's absolutely interesting if you think about it but more so it's the generations that don't really understand what it was like before all this happened before technology. So we're gonna discuss this a little bit in today because it's uh, something we should not take for granted. It's, okay, put it this way. My grandparents were born into what was, what had been called the greatest generation when people appreciated the things in a period of war and hardship. Uh, and that's my grandparents. It was that their time. And my parents were part of a generation, the baby boomers who, who lived through a time when people celebrated the newfound prosperity and rallied for rights and changes. You know, then it moved on to the next generation, which it, I'm proud to be part of the next generation after the baby boomers, which is Gen X. And Gen X came into a time it was pivotal because I mean, we still remembered the strife and the wars and everything else, but we are still aware of technology advantages. We didn't grow up with the internet. We didn't grow up with this magic device in our pockets. We didn't grow up with all this readily available information. We still, we were kind of in that in between. We were we were coming out of the stupid decisions in the previous 50 years from the war and then there was the change in the rights and changing the world that my parents did and then now we're at here. Now we're not having to experience everything from that time but we're coming out of it so it was kind of a pitiful time we didn't have anything ever at our fingertips we still had to go out and do stuff we we had the telephone which was great but you know our world was tv growing up as kids or you go to the library and you read about stuff but that was our sources of information it wasn't readily available we appreciated the fact that we had phones not in our pockets though <laughs> they were corded they were strapped to an establishment a building or you know a payphone. but you know it, it I don't know. I see today's generation where they almost think like it's a birthright, all this technology. I look at my, my kid who, in my opinion, is completely addicted to this phone of hers in order to communicate with the outside world. And I I, I don't know. It, it, it kind of makes me sad that she'll never understand the, the peace and the solitude of, you know, leaving school and being able to go home and step away from all that stuff and, uh, and, and not have to worry about this constant buzzing brick in your pocket for notifications and information and contact and communication. Yeah, but so let's get into this. Today, it seems everybody takes technology for advantage, uh, you know, for granted and and I don't know if people actually sit back and realize they get a glimpse of it when these things stop working but then they start working again and everything's good for instance and I'll give you some interesting technologies here which you really don't realize and most people don't realize how these are technologies how about simple thing like oh I don't know running water the fact that you can go to the bathroom and use the toilet flush the toilet refills Boom, or you turn on a tap and water's there. Huh, electricity. Yeah, you turn on a light, boom, it's there. Interesting, believe it or not, these are quite the advances. Think of the alternative, and I know some of them, some like today's, the kids today would not understand this, they just think it's uh, it's a given. If this stopped working, would you know what to do? If this stopped working, you ran out of bottled water, okay, your plastic water, that's gone. You don't have any of that in the house. Your tap stopped working, what do you do? Think about that for one second. I'm gonna give you a really simple example of how people take things for granted what you would be lost it would be hairy carry and chaos because what would you do you'd have to find water where do you find water you have to go down to a river or a stream and then the question is 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 it safe to drink people just escapes them because they automatically turn on a tap there's the clean water it's treated it's safe i can drink it boom consume it that's it you know, so think about think about it in your daily routine. Forget about the fancy technology and the screens and, and your phones and your computers and all that jazz because believe it or not, all that stuff could be wiped out in an instant. It's called the electricity, which oh yeah, conveniently gets, you know, sent to your house. 
But when the power goes out and you don't have all this stuff, you actually, I actually see the younger generations, you know, anybody born between, I don't know, the 90s now have a tendency to freak out and, and, and they're in a panic. I have to charge my phone. I have to charge my phone. I have to charge my phone. And they don't know what to do because they would be so lost without this this brick in their pocket. Like, oh, wow, you know, and <laughs> it's sad. But here's the other thing. Okay, so you're able to charge your phone. What happens if your cell service goes down, your data service goes down, your Wi-Fi goes down? Okay, you're mildly entertained because the thing is, is you can play with stuff locally on your phone. But do you see what I'm saying? We become so reliant on technology and taking technology so much for granted versus appreciating it and learning to live without it. I think is another thing that today's generation has to do is learn to live without the technology. Stop being so reliant on the technology because what would you do if you didn't have the technology? If you didn't have electricity, if you didn't have running water, if you didn't have food in, in the fridge or in the cupboards, what would you do? And that's an interesting thing that maybe people should stop and think about for one second because technology can easily be turned off with a flip of a switch. And we've experienced that when we've had outages from major internet providers. For instance, in Canada, Rogers internet went down and all the electronic pay services went down. People were lost. Nobody had cash. Nobody could make any transactions. And it should have given an, an eye opener to appreciating technology a little more. So in your daily struggles today, what I would like you to do for your own benefit is put your phone aside for a day. Seriously, put your phone aside for a day. Leave the house without your phone. Try that one. Feel how, imagine how lost you're going to feel, but leave your phone at home, go out in the world. <laughs> and how does that feel? Because my generation, when we were growing up, that's what we did. And that's what we did. We didn't have a phone to run to. We actually left the house and that was it. We maybe had a, a quarter to call home if needed to in our pockets, but that was, that was it. We just left. So take a look around, take a look around because there's a whole bunch of technologies out there that frankly are just people just figure is a given. It's not a given. Make it easily turn off and, and you should probably learn what you should do in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up because this is this could be a topic for a, lar a larger show and a bigger show and a longer show, which uh, we'll cover a little later on. More details, please check out themadmorgan.com, themadmorgan.com for more information on all our podcasts, all our projects, all our shows, all the information is all going to be there. And of course, all our social networks and we're, we're, we're putting it all together, but check it out, themadmorgan.com. That's going to be our central hub moving forward. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have a marvelous day moving forward. I'm your host, Mad Morgan. And and I will see you next episode.